Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be doing a little video testing out the brushes that I received. These ones are the, I can't remember exactly with the brand of these, but I'm going to put the name up there. And these ones as well, these ones are the Luxabel ones. I'm going to put a little card for the video that I posted with all the brushes in there. I was just going to test these ones out today. But they haven't got the little eye brushes that I like to use, but this one has. So I'm going to just test out the both of them. And also, I'm going to test out the blenders, or what do they call them? The beauty sponges. These are by Chic Republic. It was the Pro Beauty Sponge Trio, and it came in this box. So I'm going to try these out as well. I thought I'd use a variety of brands of makeup. To get a good use of the brushes i'm going to be using like i would say medium medium priced and lower priced stuff um yes and i'll also be using this w7 shade and swap it's just a little sponge kind of thing inside to wipe my brushes in between okay so I moisturised my face with this Toulon or Toulon, the Cellular Defence Face Moisturiser and I had a video on a self love or self care um, video so look out for that coming soon. I've actually nearly finished this, it's really good, I really like this. So I use that to moisturise my face and I use this lip balm, it's just a little just says sweet snuggles on there. I bought this from Superdrug at Christmas time. I just used that and I used the Pore Professional by Benefit Primer. I primed my face with that. I've done that already. So moving on. Oh, you might hear my son upstairs. He's playing some game so he's going to be talking quite loud. Please excuse him. I'm going to be using this, they call it baking oil. What's it called baking oil? Yeah, this baking oil by Revolution. I'm going to be using this. I've been using it for a, a bit actually. I've been using it at bedtime to see how my skin took to it. And so yeah, it's quite good. I'm up to here. So I've had a good use of it. I've used it under makeup a couple of times. And it's really good. I'm just going to pull it on. I'm not going to put too much. And I find this gives... Um, a nice glowy feel to my face and the last time I used that I didn't use primer I just used this so we'll see what it's like with primer and I've just got a little mirror down there I'm so sorry but I can't really see properly in there so from time to time I'm going to look down This is so strange because I haven't done like a makeup, um, I haven't done a makeup video on my channel before so this is really just jumping out into the, um, the sun. <laughs> yeah, I was saying I haven't done a makeup video on my channel before so this is really pushing myself out of my kind of comfort zone so anyway. I'm going to let that set in, just push it in. And the weather's really cold here at the moment. It was really warm. Last week it was really warm and now it's so cold and my skin, oh, has been crying. But not only that, it's like allergy season. How can it be allergy season and we're not even getting the sun to go with it? So I've been sneezing, my face has been getting blotchy. Oh, So this oil's been really good. It's really nice actually. Right. I'll push this back a bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to use this foundation today by Revolution Pro and it's the full cover camouflage foundation. I just got this. I've I'm used to be I'm used to using mineral um, foundation but I thought I'd give this a try and I've used it a couple of times and I like it it's, it's all right um so what brush shall I try 
I'm gonna try this brush and I've just put it on my I cannot see oh. so sorry I'm looking down now this brush is a bit too soft for for this Yeah, there's all the stuff I've got there. <laughs> I thought I might. I'm going to use this little mirror here. I think that might be better because that one is so big. Right okay so this brush I mean it's quite soft for a foundation brush I don't even think it is actually a foundation brush I'm not sure it looks a bit like one um, I think it's more like of a stippling brush and this colour I wasn't even too sure that this colour was for me to be honest but um, I tried it out it's okay I'm gonna put it on my neck anyway because like I said last week it was quite sunny so I got a little bit of a tan but um oh, this brush is alright I look like I'm so aggressive don't I <laughs> right. I think that's it I don't I don't really want f too much coverage anyway so try it with my finger just under here okay so that's this brush it's all right it's quite soft and I must say with these brushes I don't know if you can see or hear they're not they don't pull out but they they feel really odd like I'm wondering if water would get trapped in there um but no it feels all right I think it did okay on my face on the foundation okay I guess hmm. okay so that's that one and I'm gonna use this one to just kind of buff it in I like to do that because when it's wet it kind of buffs the foundation into my skin kind of it does take a bit of it off but I just find it makes it kind of sink in a little bit and it doesn't look like a kind of casty thing which I don't really like And I've got some black marks here, so I'm just going to try and add a little bit there. Whoop. You know I dropped the little sponge, in it, And you know I can't see it. Oh, gosh. Why is it that one that I had to drop? All right, I got it now, so it's nice and clean. Okay, I'm going to use the Pro Conceal concealers. I think I'm going to use Pure Beige today and Toffee. Should I use Toffee or Warm Honey? I'm going to use Warm Honey and Pure Beige today. And I have these silly dark bits here which I'm gonna try and conceal as well. I'm trying to see what brush I can use for a concealer brush in this. Maybe this one. This one looks like a foundation brush actually. Maybe I should have tried the foundation with this. But um And to be fair, I don't always use 
the brushes that are meant to be used for the certain things. Um, I just use the brushes that I <laughs> I like to use, to be honest. So. And I've never used these little tiny ones. I'm going to use it for... Oh, yeah, it does get in. But this isn't that firm. They're not as firm as the bigger ones. But yeah, it gets into the little area. And I'm just using these wipes as I go along. actually I haven't done baking for so long because um, to be honest I haven't been really wearing makeup very often well full makeup and baking it just I don't know I don't really I just think it, the look is quite glam or quite full a full look I might try it today though hey why not so I'm just putting the pure beige on top of the, did I say warm honey or something, to highlight. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look funny. <laughs> Woo. Um. Oh, that's better. This one's a little bit harder. It's so weird using brushes that I'm not used to. I think because like the brushes that I normally use, I know exactly how they work and I love the way they work. So using new brushes is it's a bit of a learning curve and it kind they don't do exactly what my other ones did. Like I don't know if you can see here, it's not even blended in properly. So I'm going to put the powder on before it starts to crease and for my powders I'm going to be using the Ben 9 powders these were really popular um, some years back but I still use these I love these I don't really hear many people talking about them that much anymore but I, I, I do I like it and I've got the colour the banana one and what's this one called Dolce or Dulce and I like to mix them together because sometimes I find the banana one too bright. I don't know. I have. I think maybe it's just the way how I'm comfortable with um, makeup, to be honest. And I just put it. I haven't even been showing you. I put a little bit of this one first, and then I put the banana, and I just put it in the lid like that. And. I'm going to try this one, this brush. These brushes are much softer than what I'm used to. Powder just flying around. Oh, not on my face, just flying away. Hi. This is so weird. I haven't done like my makeup on a camera before. It just feels really weird. Whoa, why is that so bright? I didn't mix it. <laughs> but 
because I said I'm going to try baking, I'm just going to put quite a bit of powder on. And plus the eyeshadow, some of them that I use, they have a lot of fallout. This is not going great. <laughs> this is not going great, guys. Okay. It looks really, really thick to me. And that's what's throwing me off. But it's because I'm baking and I'm not used to it. So... I'm gonna put this, push this bit on. And a bit underneath here, I'll just set that bit as well. Feels like it's starting to crease on this thing, on this eye. I think I didn't go quick enough, but hey, we're testing, aren't we? So. I think I'm going to put these away as I go on actually, so there's space. Hey, hey! Shut the front door, please! Hey! Little boy's making so much noise. Can't open it, can't open the chest. That game. Oh my gosh, I look funny. I do not like the look of this. But let's let's <laughs> let's go on. No, it looks funny, isn't it? But I must remember it's bacon in it, so it's not gonna stay like this. Okay. Alright, so moving on. Alright, I think we should move on to the eyes now. So I'm going to be using this. And this is the Freedom Pro Eye Primer. And this brand's no longer called Freedom. It's now called Revolution Pro. And I just pull it where I'm going to put the eyeshadow. And I don't go too far up because I'm not going to go that far up and I don't like the look of it when it's on my skin too far up. I've really wiped this on there, haven't I? Do you know what? It's so much pressure doing it on the camera. Oh my gosh. I normally just use my finger, but hey, since I'm trying the brushes, why don't we try the brush? I'm going to try this one and see what that's like. So sorry if you can still hear my son. I told him to shut the door, but I can still hear it. So you probably can still hear it too. All right, let that dry a little bit. And for my eyes, I'm going to use a combination of two faced palettes. I'm going to be using the chocolate palette. The cat's eyes palette and the totally cute palette okay because i am so new to this makeup on camera type malarkey this thing is so long i'm trying to edit it i've edited it i've cropped everything and it's all so long so i'm going to cut it here and probably pull it in about three different parts yeah that's how long it is see you in the next part it just doing it and it i don't know how they do it